Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi, le 9 septembre. Uh, this is going to be a pretty light day, especially since yesterday you had quite a bit to do. Um, start with this day. It's not really a this day in history. It's more of a fun fact um, with a couple of discussion questions. You'll be practicing la chanson, um, your months of the year. Janvier, février, mars. That uh, song, I really, really want you to go through those and know those months. Um, and then finally, you will have some Quizlet vocab practice. So this is something that um, I am not going to be grading you on, but it is vocab that I will expect you to know in the future. So it is a good idea to spend some time looking at it. So for your discussion, aujourd'hui c'est jeudi le 9 septembre. Le saviez-vous? Le saviez-vous en anglais, c'est did you know? Un ours polaire, un ours polaire peut sentir des phoques d'une distance d'un mille. Wow! Les phoques, uh, seals, are one of the main forms of food for les ours polaires. Um, and this is saying that they're able to, un ours polaire peut, can, sentir, smell, des phoques d'une distance d'un mille. Pretty impressive. Impressionnant. Um, discussion, what is un ours polaire? And then watch this video that's linked here. Um, it is in French. You're welcome to try to pick out some words or slow it down. That might even be better and try to pick out some words. But really just using the footage, can you tell me what um, the issue is that's being discussed there that's happening in Russia um, regarding polar bears? Okay, and then your, your discussion links are here. This will take you directly to Schoology, but the discussion is in Schoology as well, so you don't necessarily have to use these. Um, Quizlet. So when you go to Schoology and you open Quizlet Vocab Review, this is going to take you to here, um, and what you're going to do is you have a number of quizlets. These are all fairly short. Um, les jours de la semaine, lundi, mardi, mercredi. Les mois, the months, et les saisons. Um, les mots de passe, we've only had three so far. Bonjour, au revoir, merci. So this might not even be worth doing on its own. And then la personne spéciale, what are the terms we've learned for la personne spéciale? That one is a little more um, in-depth. There's a little more to do there. Uh, same with branche ou crocodile. What are those main terms that we've learned through our story, branche ou crocodile? So if you're familiar with um, Quizlet, you can uh, go through and do a number of different games. Um, you can test yourself. You can also do a combination of different um, different sets together. So you can study the days and the months at once, or I think that you can put them all together. Um, that's something that if you want any help with Quizlet, there are lots of instructional YouTube videos out there that can help you. Um, I can also help you if you have specific questions, but I think a lot of you are familiar with it already. Uh, it's a great tool. So be using this, use it a few times today, spend some significant time going over this vocab. Um, actually, speaking of vocab, one other thing I wanted to mention was, up here we have histoire numéro un, branche ou crocodile. These are our main vocab terms that we're learning through our first story. The information up here is gonna change every time we have new um, vocabulary, but this is what it's been since the very beginning of the year. Il y a, il lui dit, um, il s'appelle, elle s'appelle un crocodile, une branche, un animal, des animaux. So those are there as well. Okay, that is it for today. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Au revoir tout le monde.